Hey guys, Bowtie here. Welcome back. And today I'm excited because we are going to be doing some redstone action. So I am not a redstoner, but this is a little contraption that I have come up with myself. I'm going to be building an automatic chicken farm. Now this is based off of a lot of other people's designs that I've taken and I've modified it to uh, something that I like. And if you remember last time, uh, we got our chicken. Oh. Nope, don't need that down there. We got our uh, chicken from collecting some eggs, and uh, this is the guy that is going to help us start off our farm. And I might try and go over to that village that we found last time and get some more eggs. So let me uh, go ahead and get to the spot where I want to build this farm. We're actually going to go up top, up there somewhere, uh, maybe up there. I'll take a look around, see what area looks best. Um, and, and build the farm up there because this is something that I feel like, um, if you remember back to, oh, hello zombie. Come on, I'll put you out. There you go. Good. So if you remember, uh, I want to be building kind of like a two tier class system, maybe a three tier and go underground, but like all the rich socialist, uh, not socialist, uh, social elite, uh, socialist or something else, um, social elite and, and educated people and all that sort of stuff are going to live up there so that'll be the librarians and the cartographers and the clerics um so this is something i feel like would be more appropriate for uh for them to have up there in in, in their area so let's take a look up here and see what seems like a good spot and there's the sign that points the village off that way so i need to find what a good spot would be for this and this is a pretty small compact design is not 100% flawless, but it's something that I'm uh, pretty happy with and then that I came up with on myself. Um, let's see. I feel like that's, that, that lower area there is going to be a good place for this because uh, the, the higher up someone goes, you know, like uh, if you have like a mountain cabin or, or something like that, that usually shows a little bit more social class and, and uh, status and things like that. So... A farm is not going to be at the highest point. You want it to be, you know, a little bit lower than, uh, than you know, where homes and, and things would be. So you don't want them obstructing your, your view. Why is the farm going to have the the nicest view over the uh, the people that live here? So let's see. Is there another? Hmm. Maybe this stone area will be a little bit better. Yeah, let's do it in the stone area, because that way we could have this whole area just be houses and things that overlook the uh, the other class of people. Um, so I haven't really planned out too much of where everything would be. I, I kind of like this this right here. This, this kind of looks like it's going to naturally, it, it's almost like a naturally forming staircase here to come up and, and the way just parts for, for you to go down and have everything else around here. So I don't want to build something that's going to obstruct what could be like my, my way up and down and and so forth. Um, and this area is where all the, sh the, the rivers and things are, right? Yeah. So, I think building off in this area, where I saw some, it was a a bit more over here, yeah. I think over here is actually kind of a nice spot to, to put a farm in. You know, this is a pretty simple thing to to build. It's not um, going to take a whole lot of time to come up with, and, and if I had to, to move it, I, I can easily, easily do that. Uh, what's over here? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're going to build this right over here. And I do have pretty much all my supplies ready. Uh, I'm going to make this out of cobblestone, so... Oh, I forgot my chest. That's okay. I can go back for that later. Now, which way do I want to face this? Do I want it facing outward or inward? Let's face it outward, because if we're standing down here looking up at our way into this area, um, you want the the... The, the, the side that shows uh, what's going on with the chickens and, and everything coming down, and we're going to have them get burned by lava as they grow up. Um, it's on the outside. You don't want the uh, the redstone to be showing. You know, that that's not going to be as nice and attractive to uh, to look at. So this is actually kind of a nice little little area here. So I don't remember how much is it. There's going to be 
the chest where the chicken uh, will, will have their eggs thrown out to and grow up. This is where the chickens um, laying the eggs and dropping down into a dispenser, then firing out. So let's say that's one, two, three rows so far. And then I need another one, two rows for, for redstone. So I don't want to be right up on here. So let's go one, two, yeah, I think right here, one, two, three. Let's just clear that a little bit, get that out of the way, get this out of the way. And I'll probably come back and want to change all these blocks later on anyways. Like this is not going to be the prettiest way to do that. So the last two layers of redstone, that's the layer for where the chicken will go. That's where the babies will go and grow up. And then this will just be the front facing area. Perfect. So let's see, we don't need this block and we don't need that block. And uh, for the time being, let's use this piece of granite. This is where our chest will go. Bring a hopper down here. Okay, so that will be pointing into the chest. Now this is not um, a default thing. This is a texture pack that I'm using. Uh, if you watch Hermitcraft at all, uh, Exumavoid, he has his own texture thing you can get from his website. So I went and I downloaded some stuff from his pack. And it's pretty cool. You can cut out, kind of uh, customize everything that you're going to be using for that. So that'll be good. Uh, let's build up the sides a little bit. This is going to be one. Yeah, that'll be good. Two, this would be the layer where we put the... Oh, I forgot my dispensers. All right, so I got to go back and get that stuff. Is there a tree I can just kind of chop down? Because I think I have all the supplies that I need. Don't, uh... No, okay, I have to go back. I think I, I may actually have to make those. So this would be like that. And... There's going to be a dispenser there and a dispenser here. I'm going to have a block there. So this will be a dispenser. And right here, this will make sense. I'm doing it out of order. But right here is going to go a comparator. Good. And over here, I'm going to take the observer. Good. And if I remember this right, want perfect. Repeater there. Oh, and I think a one tick delay works the best. Run a redstone line out here up to this block, and it's going to go into a dispenser that's right here. There'll be another dispenser here, and on top of that, there's going to be a hopper, and then uh, build up everything around that. So let me go ahead, get those dispensers, uh, get that chest, and I'm going to need some more uh, cobble to build up the walls and things around it. I think it looks like I have everything else. So let me go ahead and take care of that, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I got everything I need now. Uh, I actually just had a little bit of a run-in with a skeleton, as you see here. He put a nice arrow into my observer. I'm sorry, guy, you look real real sad about that. I'm uh, not going to be able to do anything about that. You just got to wait for it to go away. So let me crack on here with, uh, with getting the rest of this set up. So I do have my chest now. So let me go ahead and get the chest. Wrong way. Perfect. I don't know why I thought I needed to do it to put it that way when I can just do that. Okay. So now, whoops. Oh my God. Okay, so now when something lands on here, the hopper below is going to suck it up and put it right into the chest. So perfect. And let's get the dispenser in. So this is the first one that's going to go there. And this is the second one there. So now what's going to happen and I'll show you what do I want to use. Let's use a piece of redstone. So I'll drop this in here. Uh, I'll drop one redstone and one gas here to show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to have oops, a hopper right here, and the rest of this is going to be built up. Like we're actually pretty much done with this right now. Um, I just have to add in a piece of glass there piece of glass there, and I'll add in some glass there, and the glass is just for aesthetics, so I can look at what's going on, what's happening here. So I can build up the rest of this, just make it look nice, uh, 
don't want to do that because that'll cut the redstone signal if I put something there. So you watch. Now that line's cut. So I don't want that. Um, whoops. Where did my pick go? Here we go. All right. So now what's going to happen is... Wait, something's not right here. What did I do? Oh, no, no, no. This is right. Okay. So that's going to go there, there, and there. This will come up another layer. Whoops. Good. Still don't want anything to go there. All right. Let me get back up here now. And build up one more layer. So the second layer is so once I do get chicken uh, down into this hole here, they're not going to be able to jump out. So it's going to be you know, too deep. All right. So what's going to happen is when a chicken lays an egg, and I'll use a piece of dirt here to demonstrate. So I got a piece of dirt in my hand, and then that dispenser there is, uh, where is the dispenser? It's down this side now. Down on, now. Yes, it was down on this side over here. So in this dispenser, if you remember, we got a piece of redstone and a gas deer. So the way I have things set up down here, if I did everything right, when I throw in, let me throw in something more unique. I'm throwing a piece of bone. So when I throw in the bone, perfect. So the bone falls into the hopper. The hopper pushes it down into the dispenser. The comparator here measures when there is something uh, going into the dispenser. So that updates. The observer detects that update, runs a signal around. Signal is split here, one going into this dispenser to spit out uh, the egg that drops down the hopper, and another one's going into this dispenser here that will uh, dispense the lava um, that I'm going to use to cook the chicken. So every time an egg's drop, it's going to do one quick thing for lava, and then the observer, once this dispenser shoots out, um, the item is going to be updating this compare. Whoops. Oh, I just broke it. It's going to update the comparator again. Let me fix that. And then the observer is going to notice that change. And can I just, without having to jump up, can I? No. And the observer will detect that change, sending another pulse through the system, uh, retracting the, the lava. Maybe it'll actually be a little bit easier to show if I uh, look at that and that. Oh, and then there is an issue every once in a while that a, if too many items go through at once, so if like 20 eggs go through, it breaks the system, it does too many updates, and then the lava and gets uh, um, gets stuck deployed. So that's not a huge issue. Uh, Mike fixed that, it's just putting a button there. It'll retract the lava if it gets stuck out. Um, but even if that does happen, the chicken is going to grow up, it'll hit the lava blade, and it'll just die and go in anyways. I just don't always want the, uh, the lava going. Uh, now, to show you how this works a little bit better... Um, where is, wasn't there, oh, no, there was a water source right up here. So let me grab some water. I'll put that into the dispenser, and we'll see how, we'll be able to better show how it's going to uh, to work. So I'll put that in. And I'm going to get back up here. Oh, no, I don't. I know how I can do this. So I can actually access this stuff right here, so you'll see I'm just going to drop in just one item and you're going to see everything work properly. So you see that? The gas tier came in, went into the hopper, or went into the dispenser, sent one signal around, water came out, the comparator detected that there was now that the, the dispenser was empty, sent another signal around and the water retracted in, and the gas tier is here. So if this was a chicken, you know, a chicken that would have hopefully been hatched, uh, it would have eventually grown up after, what does it take, like 20 minutes, and uh, the next egg that would have came after it was fully grown up would have triggered the system, the lava would have came out, set it on fire, and it would be dead. So putting uh, the half slab here, um, make sure that when the chicken grows up, it'll get uh, uh, cooked by the lava, but... It also makes sure that the babies are not going to get burnt up at all by the lava. Plus, you can still have uh, uh, items drop through here. And I left a gap here in case, um, for whatever reason, if this gets clogged up and it's not doing its job right, I can always just come in here and just whack away, or if I just need a quick, you know, XP thing. And this will also give us some fetters, which will be good for 
uh, for getting arrows. So now, on to the next step, which is getting a chicken in here. Oh, you do have an egg for me. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, come with me. We're going on a little journey. I'm going to put you into a new hole. Perfect. Keep coming. I hate moving animals. They are such a pain to get them to follow you properly. And how quickly they'll lose interest sometimes. And they'll just stop following. But this guy is being a very good chicken. Very good chicken. Here, have a seat. Good job. Alright, just a little bit further. Keep coming, Mr. Chicken. Or Mrs. Chicken. Chicken or, or females. They're not males. Okay, sorry about that. Well, this is 2017. You can be a man or a woman if you want to. Chicken. Come on, just a little bit more. Keep coming. Come on. And down the hole you go. Perfect. Now you need to lay some eggs. That was no good. So for the time being, I am not going to put lava in here. Um, let me actually take out my bucket of water because if any more chicken um, eggs are, are laid and another chicken is hatched, I want to get that chicken back up into the system so that it can um, I can breed it with this chicken and start getting more going. So how's my inventory looking? That'll be fine. All right, let's get back over to that village. Okay, I am back at the village. I already have uh, a few chicken over here. Uh, before I bring these guys back, I still got plenty of daylight. Good. I don't want to be over here when it's nighttime and have to worry about this uh, village getting attacked. Oh, no, I don't want you guys following me right now. So I'm gonna put that away. Uh, on my way over, I also found a lava pool, so I got the lava bucket that I need for the system. You guys, good, not following. I want you guys to stay up there. So since I'm over here at the village, I'm going to raid their crops a little bit because they have carrots and I want carrots. So I'm not going to take all of them. I'm just going to take some of them. I can build up my rest from here and this way they can still keep uh, keep their farm going. I'm just going to take the stuff that's... I'm not using a pick to get crops. That, that, that was a bad idea. You don't want to do that. Especially a diamond pick. That's not what it's used for. So carrots. No potatoes, though. Let's keep going. That's good. This place had a lot of farms, though, so I should be able to find potatoes. Oh, hello, chicken. You can follow me, too. So now I want this guy to follow me so I, I can bring him back over to where those guys are. And try and get as many as I can uh, to start producing eggs and getting some cooked chicken. So, see? The chicken stopped already. He already stopped following me around. And now he's not even paying attention to the fact that I have seeds. Let me put that into my offhand again. Let me, let, me, let me put it... There you go. Dual wielding seeds. Come on, chicken. Oh, I have to take you. There you go. You're still coming? Good. Good, chicken. Out of my way. What are you? Weaponsmith. Okay. Oh, where, where's your egg? Give me your egg. Perfect. Good chicken. And that one stopped following me. This is why I hate getting animals in this game. Especially chicken. Chickens seem to be the biggest... Pain. Oh, this is the farm I was thinking of. I didn't raid yet. Let's get this one. Chickens seem to be the biggest pains. And the ones that want to be the least cooperative. And, uh, and I'm trying to start up my farms. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that's just me. Maybe other people have different issues with with different animals, but chickens. That's the, the one that gives me a hard time here. Okay, where did that guy go? I hear ya. I hear you, chicken. But I don't... Okay, there you are. Good. Let's come back down this way and we'll get your friend. Still coming with me? Good. What about you now? Good. Now this one stopped following me. Oh, chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Okay, I got you. Now this one stops. Come on. Hey, 
Hey, you. Okay, you paying attention to me now? You coming? Look, your friend's coming. But you don't want to come? Chicken. Chicken. Come on. Okay. Oh, boy. Dealing with the animals in this game is almost as bad as dealing with villagers. Villagers are impossible to work with. At, le at least the chicken will follow you somewhat. Hey. Hey, guys. Real quick, I made a lot of progress on the chicken farm. I got the chickens, I put them in, I had a bunch bred up, then I decided to go AFK. Now, I have lost all that footage because I didn't realize my hard drive was full, and I kept recording and did not realize it. Um, I was supposed to be recording to a different hard drive, but for whatever reason, my settings reset, so none of that stuff got recorded. So now I'm picking up after I AFK'd for a night, and everything was completed and the chicken are in. So let's see what happens. Hey you guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and I AFK'd overnight. And um I'm seeing some things I don't like already. So Yeah, that that may give an indication of it. So let's go down there and check this out. Somehow, um, yeah, I, I need to rethink this design a little bit because that got stuck again. Not sure why it was stuck this time, because normally when that happens, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But it did give me almost a stack of cooked chicken, and that's promising. So what I think I may end up trying to do, and it's it's the next morning, so I have to actually get ready for work, so I don't have time to do this right now, but what I think I'm going to do is see what happens if I actually raise this design up one more level. So that the chicken, which now I have to go and spend time trying to find more chicken and get them over here, um, will be one more level up from where the, uh, where this hopper is. So I, I, maybe the fire spread won't go up as far. And I really gotta figure out how to get that off. So maybe installing some sort of redstone clock back here might work. So that's going to make sure that there's always two signals being sent every single time. Um, hmm. Not sure. I got, I got to think a little bit more about this. Cause it, it was working really well when I tested it out the other day. I didn't run into this problem. Hmm. I mean, the only other thing that I did when I was originally testing this out is I had the repeater over here with a delay. And I was still getting problems from time to time, but I guess it's worth trying out. I'll have to play around more in my creative testing redstone world and uh, see what else I can do. But that's it for now. Thank you for uh, for checking out this episode, and hopefully by the next episode I will have this figured out and working 100%. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.